City as we welcome you to Coors Field. Today, getaway day here in this three-game series between the San Diego Padres and the Colorado Rockies. Gerald Hayden looks to push his all-time hit streak record to even greater heights. Next. Three! Three! Now at the plate, here is Gerald Hayden, already holding the all-time hit streak record. He continues to carve out his place in the game's pantheon right here. You know, Matty, whatever happens in this guy's career, regardless whether he becomes a superstar for 15 years or fizzles away, this mark will always stand. It will always be something that other players chase. Children will learn about it in textbooks. This guy has certainly etched his place in this game's history. The left and he will oh. add yet another Great game play. to his incredible hitting streak as it now reaches even further into the stratosphere. You know, D-Row, I don't know if this thing's ever going to end. This guy's been ranking now for almost two months. Well, the side is retired as they make the play. Andres lead one, and now the Rockies will go on offense for the first time. No score. Next to hit, Gerald Hayden as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. I'm so impressed with him and his ability to hit from both sides of the dish. I mean, we've all seen guys that do it, but really, they usually struggle from one side of the plate or the other. Not him, though. He's a true switch hitter who has a lot of success from either side of the box. Oh, I love that pitch right there. And he is tagged out here. Boy, a bad. Set for the start of the fourth. And standing in is the, the veteran third, third baseman, Gerald Hayden. I know we're not Day. seeing a lot of offense in this one, but there's still some game left. I'm ball. looking to see these guys, both That's offenses, make some notable adjustments at the dish and try and scratch a few runs across. Left center base hit. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he's not stopping. He wants three. The relay. And he'll get there as he legs out the leadoff triple. So he's in at third to kick off the inning as you take a look at the league leaders in triples. And as you can see there, he's off to a flying start. The NL's leader in that department here in the month of May. So now to the plate, Colt Franklin. He bounced down yeah, last here. time up. Yeah, and I know you want to lace a line drive or hit a potential home run. But I'll tell you what, grab the cheap ribby when it's there. Give me a ground ball middle of the diamond and steal a run. Next, here is Joe Rizzo. Nine at-bats for him in the series the so far, and he's collected Joe. a pair of hits. Rizzo. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Lifted down the line and left. Left fielder is on the move. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. The runner from third crosses the plate, and they've taken a 1 0 lead. Got his job done there and made it look pretty simple. Got it into the outfield to bring home the first run. Striding in for the Rockies. The right fielder, Alonso number 14. Ball. He's 0 for 1 Alonso. thus far. Ball. Uh, 2 2. This one's down to third. Fielded cleanly. Throw gets him. He's Two down. down. Now to the plate. Now Gerald down. Hayden. Third two base. for two in the ball game Gerald. so far. Hayden. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. This is why the manager pencils these guys in in the middle of the order. Big spot, time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality A.B.s. Now a swing and a deep drive to left, and it ain't coming back. Into the bleachers and gone! A solo shot here to left, number 36 on the year for him. And the Padres have come back to make this a 3-3 ball game.
Well, if I was the manager, I would tell my pitchers to work around this guy. I mean, he's hit three home runs against them in this series. What more do they need to see? Four, five? Jeez, enough is enough. And now for Colorado, number 22. number 22. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Popped up. Hayden has a play. And he makes the catch for the second out. So a big yeah, at bat coming up, and it'll be Gerald. Gerald. And a big at bat hey, here as he'd be the go ahead run. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Hit high and deep to straightaway right field. Not quite out of here. It's off the out of town scoreboard. And the tying run is in to score all the way from first. It's now a 5 5 ball game. So there it is. He's hit for the cycle. Oh man, he's been just awesome to watch in this one, guys. I mean, a cycle is such a rarity, and it's one of the coolest things you can witness happening in a single game. He's going to be the talk of baseball for a few days after this one. Is the left field. Franklin, a couple of walks for him Go. thus far. Franklin. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Oh, oh, and missed. Here's the throw. And he is in there at third is the possible go ahead score. Digging in here for a pivotal now at bat. Joe Second Rizzo, base. as he'll do his Joe. best to bring home the go ahead Rizzo. run from third, 90 feet away. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Plummer is there now to put this one away for the third out as they'll strand Ladies that potential go ahead run at third base. So it's two Devin runs Bennett. on three hits, no errors, right. and a runner left on. We'll move on now to the bottom half of the seventh. Get up and stretch, and we are all tied five to five. And now here is number 22. No hits in number three 22. tries so far. He struck out once. Eight runs, nine hits, no errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. He'll try to punt his way on as he gets this one down. And he will not have a play behind him. It's an infield single. Standing in a perfect four for four so far. Gerald Hayden. He's got his sights set on a five-hit ball game here. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Hit to short. He's right there. Throw on the first. And the Padres are down to their final out now. Man, if you like offense, you had to love this one. Both teams came out swinging and found a lot of success. Pretty amazing it turned out to be as close as this one, considering all the runs that were put on the scoreboard. A close one, 8-7 to seven is how it finishes today. The Rockies came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Bradley 